Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're gonna add our scoreboard show game. So with that said, let's go this. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, it's gonna be a big video, so let's hurry up over here and show you how I edit before. So right over here we have our graphics for our digits for our scoreboard. And um as you see over here, I'm using uh, Spiceware once more time, his blog and his tutorial page over here. There is another version, if you like, another method if you like to use. There's the 8 bit workshop. The only difference is that this seems to take a little bit more uh, RAM memory space. So, um, since it's already such a limited amount of RAM, as you see over here, you only have this amount of RAM. I'm, pretty, I'm just going to use a Spiceware method since it does has a little bit more last RAM to work with. So with that said, uh, let's just jump to the part over here. And as you see, you're going to need to add a uh, fill this more variables over here or allocate some space for our variables. So let's do that. So the score and timer is going to be your pointers. Uh, my point is going to be your points. So player zero points in player one. So you don't need that. But we do need these digits 1 and 10 and our graphics over here. I already have 10, so I don't have to worry about it. So let's come over here on our, on our variables over here and let's just create them. So we're going to need a player 0 uh, digit graphic. Uh, DS1. Copy. Oops. What happened over here? DS1. And player one, so let's comment this. Uh, digit graphics for this scoreboard. For this scoreboard, from decimal position, from decimal from. And it's digit graphics from scoreboard. That's fine. Save that, and we need our digits over here so let me come over here go digit uh, once yes two and digits or digit tens yes two so digits one so the first byte is gonna be for uh, player one and the second I mean the first byte is gonna be for points player zero points and the second for player one points, one and ten, so that's why. So let's come over here to see digits from the scoreboard from points, from player points. There, there you go, some good comment. So with that said, let's come, uh, where are you going? Let's come to the rest of the tutorial. And let me just go quickly over here since we're gonna change my code into at least this points it's gonna be using the binary coded decimal and I already open here my old trusted 6502 emulator so let me show you a quick example so if I load 8 and I add if carry 1 we're expecting a 9 which you got over here however if I add a 2 we're expecting the value hex a which it is what you get over here hex a However, if I were to set my decimal mode over here, assemble, and let's go step by step. So I added A, adding 2 over here, instead of A, we're getting the value 10. So it's pretty much like a human number, uh, your normal numeric numbers. The only difference is that instead of having the value A represented over here, hex A, we have hex, which is important, hex 10, not just 10. So let me. So we're right, right over it. Let's go back to your code over here into your tutorial list. And this is our his uh, initializer data that he has over here. I'm not gonna go over it, but we are gonna go over this part over here. So let me just do this over here uh, on our emulator and show you what's happening over here. So here is the the numbers, and I'll show you that. So let me come over here. So let's say, for example, our score is, uh, make sure it's hex. Let's say, for example, it's 14. And then 
as you see over here, we're going to do a n zero f or just is it f and f and f value is if it's zero f sims zero f for example. Although zero is zero and f is just one, and of course f one is I mean f zero is one 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 and zero is zero. And both values is using for masking, which I went over on my um, Atari programming videos. So we got that all set over here. And then as you see over here, we have we start a value over here. We multiply it twice and then add that value if our tenth value. And that's how so meaning that we're gonna get eight times five over here. If you go over here, he'll explain that. So that's how multiplication works anyway. It's the number itself on the X amount of times. So that's how it works. So, uh, oh, not here. So let's do that over here. Store that into zero. And ASL, ASL, add with carry, the value on zero. So if I assemble and run, oh, that's why, uh, let me work over here, run. Here it is, our value over here. Actually, uh, it's set over here, 14, and then we're gonna, we're gonna do the N, which has got the value four. So that's, that's what the main objective of this uh, part of the code is. It's just to mask this value over here to get this four. That's the digits one. So it gets four, and then we're gonna multiply it by five. Then why it's multiplying by five? If you come over here under the numbers over here, here is the position zero, and then plus five because there's five bytes here, so this is zero times five. If it was zero, it'll be zero, since the value is actually what is it? It's four, so the zero, one, two, three, four. So that's how we get to the four. As you notice over here. So that's how this part of the code does. So if that, let's just come over here. And let's put the part down over here as well. Our path data for our scoreboard. Oh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And uh, where is it? Here it is. Let's comment for quick comment. Prep data for scoreboard. Gives me misspelling scoreboard every time, so that's fine. So let's do that. Load X. We're gonna make a small loop like we have uh, like I have over here. Here, let's call it uh, scoreboard. Keep short for data loop. No, just scoreboard data. It's fine. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna load uh, P0 points X. So this is gonna uh, be in the player one. And then we're gonna do the same thing, and F, so F or zero F, whichever one you like, it's the same thing. And then we're gonna add a carriage to temp. We're gonna do this ASL twice. Well, not add a carriage, we're gonna store that. And then here we're gonna add a carriage to temp. Perfect. And then we're gonna start a value into your digits one. Over here, X. So the star, whatever you have right now to digits one and X. So now we got the value over here. So as you see four, we get the value of, for example, 18. So let's assemble we go step for it. So 18, step eight, we got that. All right. So we got that part down. And now let's look at this part over here, which is on this first part, we got the value for eight. And the second part, we're actually going to get the value for 1. So this time, let's put 58. So I assemble, just to show a quick show. Still got 8. Now let's do the 5 one. So this time, instead of F0, we're going to do this. Assemble and run. So OK, so now we got the 50 part. However, you want to get this five, the fi this 50 into a 5. So we can come over here, for example, be 5, and now we could come over here to our numbers over here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So you get this five number over here. So how are you gonna do that? You're gonna do this 
then I'll do this five left shift. So if I assume and run, here it is. So we got that part right over here. Now we got that part and to do this, move this five part over pretty much like this, like we did the first time, you're going to have to multiply it by five. And if you come over here and look at the tutorial, if you notice at some point we store the value into temp and add that, that value over here. And that's pretty much a, a binary math over here that we're doing. So instead of uh, doing this number divided by 16 times 5, you're just doing it in binary. So to do that, you just store that value, the second value over here, and then add that with their temp value. So that's pretty much what's happening over here. So let's do that part. I hope you understand that. So let's load a uh, few zero points, same thing. Points plus x. Pretty much like, uh, let's see, like this, as you see. And then, okay, let me just come, let us see. So here is the one digit. And here is the tens digits. Okay. And the, this time it's gonna be F0. And just kind of get confused, let's do this. And you're gonna do the exact same thing. LSR, LSR, LSR. However, to do this uh, binary math, you're gonna store this into temp. And if carry temp. So we got that part down. And then we're gonna store that judicious tense, pretty much like so. Or that you did stance. Forget your x because you're gonna do a small loop. Gonna gonna happen twice. Decrement x and blur. Same. So let's go easy. Decrement x. Branch y on plus to. Let's see the data over here. Okay. So you got that part down. Let's assemble. See if nothing bad happens. Okay. Everything is working fine. So now let's come over here on this 30 over here. I'm gonna have to change this values later. I'm gonna do some timers. But for now, let's just keep what it uh, keep what it is over here. And let's come to this part over here. And this part I already have open over here, and that's how the sync method is gonna work. I already covered this in my previous video. But as you see here, you have the whole TIE clock on top and the 6502 cycles. So, for example, if I wanted to, we can, for example, I'm just saying, put the code over here to display the play field one data right over here. So, load and store, it would still be in the horizontal blank, which is a visible screen. So, header code, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. I already have display field one displayed over here. So, this is coming over here. So, the line is coming across the screen as it's going. So, it's, it happens in real time for. Or scan line for your TV, so it's go as your code is going simultaneously. So this part is done, and as you see, as soon as this part is done, we have this you put here right play field one. So this area over here, as soon as the scan line hits over here, we can put our code right over here to change play field one. So, for example, load and store over here to change play field one. That happens right over here. So as when it comes to play field one, you draw this part over here. What's gonna happen is gonna have a different value. If you start different value, it's gonna display a different value over here. So that's a quick summary. I already went over it on my other Atari 2600 video. And that's pretty much what this is doing. So let's just put this right over here. So we're gonna do load x5. Even though it's load x5, you're doing the the as I described over here, it's going twice over here, pretty much like a two line kernel, so it looks a little bit better. So let's just do the same thing over here. So here is our score loop. Score. Let's go to score loop. Uh, SC loop. There you go. 
So here, let me save this. I'm gonna load Y to your digits 10. Uh, digits 10. X, or this X over here. Oh, excuse me. And as you see over here, you're gonna get the graphics to display from Y. So remember over here, I'll restore the position of these points into our digits 1 and digits 10. So this is what happened over here. Do you stand? I'm gonna store it actually. Oh, I'm gonna load A to get your graphics. Or your B0. Oh, is what did they call it? Digit graphics? Uh, yep. X. Oh no, X, Y, my bad. That's the Y over here. It's the X over there. Oh, you gonna mess up here too. <coughs> Where I got the uh the the data from over here, oh my god, what's this dying over here? So I got the data over there, it's pretty much like here. And then we go here, we're doing an, another mask over here, so let's do that. F0, and the mask, what I'm gonna do is get that uh, 10 digits over here. For example, if it was, if, uh, let me come over here. Actually, let me just come over here. Let's say, for example, it's the value 25. I already got the, the first tens value is 20, 22, as you see over here. So you're going to get this 10 is going to be the 22 in the graphics. So you're going to mask this first four, which you remember it's 1111000. So only this first four bits over here, so 0111, is going to be displayed. And all of these values from here on out. As you see the mouse going from here to here, so positions 0, 1, 2, and 3 is going to get completely discarded to 0. And the only thing that's going to remain is the most bit and this 4 over here. So that is going to happen to the whole thing over here. So where was I? So that's what this mask is doing right over here. And then we're going to store that to your graphics. Store that to your Player zero, player zero graphics. What did I call it? Let me come over here. Digit graphics. So store that your graph uh, digit graphics, and then we're gonna do the same thing for digits one. So this is digit stands, and we're gonna do the same for digit one. So so we got the. Uh, the first part for the, for the R number, like what's saying 25, no, no, now let's just get the five part. So let's load a player zero. Digit graphics, Y, pretty much like the same one as before over here. But the only difference now, we're gonna do the mask the other value, the, the other part. So this time it's gonna be zero F. So we only wanna get the first four bits, pretty much like before. Oh. So we got the Valentine accumulator, the first four. So let me bring the graphics over here. I was saying it's 25, so I get this 55 over here. Don't forget, I got this only the value two over here. And to merge these two together, to, for example, you get 25, I'm gonna do a exclusive war over here binary or oh, over here you know it says binary or with accumulator yeah I just doing a or not an exclusive or my bad it's not X or so let's come over here and we're gonna do a X or for graphics over here it's one graphics that we saved over here with the value that we have the accumulator and then we're going to start the value one more time into your player zero graphics over here as you see over here so now whatever it's an accumulator is going to be the actual value that it got over here so now we ha actually have the value 25 and here now we're going to create a new WC. so pre that's pretty much the gist of it and as you see over here 
then we're gonna start that you put play view on so that's uh, that's the, the thing that happens right here again so let me just mm, actually let's still go over because there is a slip over here and there is plus one so just so let's just keep going over here so let's we should stand one more time uh, okay let's hold on this is 10 plus one because this one is gonna be actually play few digits for the player one so as you see over here and we're gonna do the exact same thing but this time instead of player zero here is some timer graphics this is player one so actually I can pretty much just copy this over here so let me just copy this over here because over here this is a start to player one though this is player one plus one and this is player one save this so it's the exact, exact same thing as you notice over here except it's player one actually i could even copy the exclusive word and stuff which i don't think i did uh, no i didn't stop it over here and this is player one and player one okay so the only thing to notice over here this plus one actually is from the from our variable that we did have over here it's the only major difference over here and then as the only thing you notice over here here he has a jump sleep 12 uh, you actually have a macro over here for that so just sleep 12 and our macro no, it's not from my macro it's from our macro over here that comes with it sleep I'm come over here and save that's the only difference and then you're going to start a value into your play field one now instead of let you sync over here play field one so we got that part all set and down so we got our sync going so our data is written over here wait a little bit on this area we're going to start a value so that's what's happening over here and then then we we preload like it says over here the next scan line copy and all this stuff and as you notice over here right over here so let me just keep typing this part down over here actually let me just come over here minimize this so it can go a little bit faster so we are at sleep 12 and start play field actually already did that part so I'm slowing everybody down so let's let's write your player zero point is not my player zero point is graphics there you go so just preload the valley over here it's like w, w sync and start to play field one and all we're doing now is incrementing so we're going to the next so let me come over here so we got this value so incrementing the value so the next loop we are over here now and over here and over here over here we're doing this five times that's why the time of the loop over here so let's do that so you should up oh, digit once 10 doesn't really matter we're going to increment that and a plus one i'm going to do the same thing from digits 10 digit once i mean this one plus one so we got all set we're going to do the sleep one more time so we can uh sync everything together we're gonna decrement x remember it's the value for five over here store that into your play field play field one like you have over there branch right now equals zero to scoreboard okay what do you call it boop there we go and of course if we get out of there w sync or whatever we have here to play field one and another w sync over here so we got everything here all set i, I 
probably now I'm gonna have to put a timer to make sure everything works fine over here but I can do that later so we went over all this time over here pretty much I'll set up this tutorial so let me just come over here assemble hopefully nothing bad works and here it is our scoreboard so why is nothing showing up well that's because if I well let me sh show you a quick I'll just show you Slow A with uh, 40, store that to color and mouse my play field. Let me save this. Oh my god. So I think it's working. No, it's not. Okay. So let me come over here. Let's see what I did wrong over here. Whoops. Uh, let me just stop the video and fix this part really fast. Just give me a sec. Alright, sorry for the edit, but. I uh, just did something really stupid. I just, since digit, I, I have your player zero digit graphics, it's really similar to digit graphics. That's the mistake that I made over here. So make sure you don't make the same mistake as I did. I just put the name that's fairly similar. I should really change the name over here, but actually, I'm gonna do that. So come over. This is the digit graphics over here. So let's just call it uh, SB scoreboard digital graphics over here so this time I don't get confused with the same name over here and that's what happened so some silly mistakes was this over here over here over here and over here you save this and let's assemble and now you can see the scoreboard working and the only reason why this number is not matching up simply it's because it is on a reflective mode right now so let's just change that so let's come over here so let's let's slow y for now let's go to one two three four one two three four store y into your control playfield so i don't need you actually so come over here so if I say right now everything's black, but if I were to put you on one, I believe you. Here it is. You got our scoreboard mode right over here, meaning that the scoreboard over here, on the left side, or let me come over here, over here. So this side of the playfield is gonna get the color of playfield uh, player zero. And this color, the play field, is going to be the color of player one. So as you see, oh my god, I have a lot of them open. Let me close this. Open here again. So this is the color, the same color as this. And player one got the color right over here. So as you see, it matches. And I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, however, let's just fix a few things over here. So if you see this coming, oh, let's see, where is it? Points. 97 98 so let's put this to 9 neutral 9 so my frame come over here as you see this part over here this uh, garbage code over here so let's fix that so we got our scoreboard is working perfectly fine now uh, let's do this fast since uh, it is getting a little bit too long on time so uh, come over here play skip mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is set our decimal mode and clear our decimal mode and so let's um, load what do you got over here? So let's load p0 at carry if one store that to p0 points. Do that and I'm gonna do the same thing for uh, player one over here. So let me just copy this. Actually, make sure also to uh, clear carry. Let's do this. Let me copy this over here. And I uh, put this over here. Save. Uh, let's run over here. It's okay, so everything's working. Oops. Uh, where was it? Okay. Forgot to put this to player one. Okay, so let, let's, let me try now. Perfect. So now let's put uh, nine 
9. So let's check this out if it worked. So 10, here it is. So everything is working fine and expect this. So I know this video is going to be pretty, probably one of my longest video. So let me just finish the video right now. So we cover all the material, all the our scoreboard. So we got that all set and working. And I still need to add a timer, so I'm gonna do this later. But from now on to the next video, we're just gonna be focusing on our gameplay for now. So I want to just work that part out. So with that said, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.